Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create a travel logo animation like this. So support me on this one. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and then turn on the notification. Then come back. Let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, we're going to create a new composition. We're going to name this main. We're going to leave this to 1920 by 1080 for the resolution and select 30 frames per second and then make the entire duration 10 seconds. Then you hit OK. Now navigate to import your floor object. Drag and drop it into the project manager window. Drag your floor object into your timeline. By the way, I got this from freepick.com. So we're going to make this 3D, toggle the timeline switch and then make this 3D, then rotate the X axis to 0 by negative 65. Select the ellipse tool right here and double click on it. That is going to mask the entire image. So what we're going to do now is to pull it below a bit so that we can see what we are doing. Hit MM on your keyboard to reveal the mask properties. We're going to make the max feather 600, mask opacity 60. And we're going to set the mask expansion to negative 250. Now right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. We're going to name this sky. Make comp size and then you hit OK. Drag this to the bottom of the layer hierarchy. Now we're going to add the gradient ramp to this particular layer. So we're going to change the color so that it will simulate a sky color. We're going to set this to blue color and set the blue color to 0D409A. Then you hit OK. We're going to make the bottom color an earth color. So select the color and set the code to FBE0BD. Now let's create a camera, right click on your timeline, go to new and create a 35 mm camera. Then right click on your timeline, go to new and then create a new null object. This is going to be our camera controller. So we're going to make it 3D, then make the camera a child of the camera controller. Now let's create a movement for the camera. Move your time indicator to three seconds forward in time. We're going to select the camera controller, then hit P on your keyboard. Then you set a keyframe at this point, And then you change the keyframe value for the X to negative 3280. Now move your time indicator to eight seconds forward in time and set the X position value to 1824. You select all the keyframes right here. Then hit F now on your keyboard to easy ease. Navigate to where you have your logo and import your logo. Drag and drop your logo into your project manager window. We're going to import it as a composition because it's a single layer. Then we hit OK. So we're going to go into the logo holder composition. First of all, what we're going to do is to first we need to rename it. We'll go to composition settings. And then we'll, we'll change the name of the composition to logo holder. Hit S on your keyboard to scale this down. We're going to save scale this down to whatever your preference is. I'm going to leave it at this. Then we're going to select the shape tool right here, the rectangle tool. And make sure no layer is selected. We're going to draw a simple rectangle below it like this. Hit P on your keyboard to make adjustment. Make sure it is directly below it like this. Then we're going to select this right here. Toggle this timeline and then switch this to alpha inverted. That is the track mat. Set it to alpha inverted. So we're going to hit P on our keyboard and move our time indicator to 15 frame forward in time and set a keyframe for the position. Then move your time indicator to zero and then set the position value right below it like this. Then select your keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease. Then select this keyframe, go into the graph editor and edit the speed graph like this. Now you have this. 
beautiful make sure you toggle the timeline back then enable the motion blur and also enable motion blur for this composition that way we're gonna have it like this beautiful so now go back to your main composition drag the logo holder composition into your timeline we're gonna move to somewhat this point where the camera has finished moving to somewhere right here we're gonna make the logo a 3d layer select your logo layer and move it to the right of the screen and then also move it downward we're gonna select the bg layer i want to make some adjustments so i'm gonna switch select the gradient ramp and then move this earth color a bit upward Now select your logo holder and offset it to somewhere after 7 seconds and that is going to give you this beautiful. So we're going to duplicate this logo layer, select the bottom one and move the anchor point right below the logo. Hit R on your keyboard to reveal the rotation property. So we're going to rotate this on the X axis. We're going to rotate it to somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now is to add a fill effect to this layer. This is going to be the shadow of the logo. Now let's set a shadow color. Set the mode to multiply. And drop the opacity to about 60. Then we're going to add one more effect. We're going to add Gaussian Blur. Set the blurriness to 15. Select the top logo holder composition and then duplicate it. Then move it to the bottom of the shadow. So we're going to offset this a bit backward in time. Then we hit C on our keyboard to drop the opacity to 10. Make sure you select the three logo layer. Then activate the motion blur for it. And also make sure it is activated on this timeline. We're going to duplicate this like three more times then we're going to simply offset them like this you can actually duplicate this as much as you want to do so i want to duplicate it one more time this is limited to what you want to see so if you preview right from this port you will see that this is what you have beautiful so now select all the logo composition layer right here except the first one and make it a child of the first one that way whatever control or movement you give to the first one or every other duplicate will follow so we're going to go back to this project manager window and create two folders we're going to name one of the folder building images and we're going to name the other folder building compositions that is building comps this is gonna hold all our building composition so now select your logo holder composition and then duplicate it on the project manager window we're gonna move it into the building comps hit enter to rename it build underscore one this is gonna be our first building composition so what we're going to do now is to navigate to where you have all our buildings select all the building images drag and drop it into the building images folder by the way i got all of these building images from pixabay.com and then do some little photoshop on it by removing the backgrounds you can use any building of your choice so what we're going to do now is to duplicate uh, double click on this build composition one right inside the folder build comp 
Then we're going to replace this logo with our first building. So select the logo layer on the timeline. Then you select your first building right here. Then hold an Alt key on your window or Option key on your Mac. Drag and drop it right on top of this logo layer. That is going to automatically replace this. We might need to adjust this a bit. Hit S on your keyboard to adjust the scale. Now, if you preview, you see that this is coming up just like the logo. So let's go back to our main composition and continue the job. Select all of this logo holder composition on your timeline. We're going to control D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Move it right arranged to the bottom hierarchy. We're going to change its color to keep everything organized. I'm going to offset it on the timeline forward like this. So what I'm going to do now is to select the top one. If you remember, we already parented it to the top one. So every other thing is going to carry that command once you duplicate it. So what we're going to do now is to hold down the... We're going to move it, offset it right here on the preview window on the Y axis. Select all of this again and duplicate it one more time. We're going to also move it up like this on the hierarchy so that we have it uniform and also change the color to something like uh, brown. So that way we have control over all the layers using color visibility. So deselect everything and select the top composition because it is the parent and then offset it like this. So that way we have something like this. We have this popping up in different times. I need to offset it a bit far away from each other. I'm going to also do something. I'm going to select all these shadows and adjust it a bit. I, I was supposed to do it before I duplicated all of them, but we can still do it right now. Select the shadow layer. Once you select it like this, we're going to expand it on the scale. Expand it on the scale like this so that it will be a bit long and also shrink it on this axis. Do the same thing to all of them. Now this is what you have. Select this particular layer. I want to hit P on my keyboard. I want to move it backward on the Z axis. So I'm going to set this to about 300. So we're going to adjust this as we proceed. So what we're going to do now is to replace this duplicate with the building composition that we have created right here so how to do that is let's feed this back to screen the way we did it in the other composition that is how we're going to do it like this select this first layer then you select the building comp hold down option key or alt key on window drag and drop it right on top you see it's going to change it to the building so i'm going to do that to the same thing. I'm going to do that to the rest of the layers right here on this particular duplicate. Now we have the entire thing replaced with this logo. If you preview now, this is what we have. So you can offset this right there so i'm gonna select this very top, particular top one and hit s on my keyboard to increase the scale i'm gonna increase the scale to 180. remember the images are already high resolution so i'm gonna also hit p and adjust the position for the p for the z axis let me set this to 600. that is gonna move it backward so i'm also gonna offset it a bit word like this so I'm going to move my time indicator so that my camera will move a bit. So once my camera moves to this level, then I will select the other logo duplicate and also offset it like this. Feel free to explore your creativity. Now, what we're going to do now is to go back to the project manager window, select this build one and then duplicate it. That is going to make it build two. Double, uh, double click so that you go into it and replace the building. I'm going to select the building and repeat the same process like before. After adjusting the scale and position, this is what I have. So let's go back to our main composition again. So we're going to replace this the way we did 
with the other one so select the first layer and select the build tool then hold down option key or alt key drag and drop it to replace it so i'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of the layer so now we're gonna adjust this scale for the first layer right here hit s on your keyboard to adjust the scale and the z position so now if you preview this now I'm gonna simply offset this so that it will come up at the right time. I want this to come in later. Another thing I wanna do also is to select it and move it to this point where I can still see it as part of this window. So now let's preview and see. Beautiful, you see, this is what we have. So I'm gonna repeat the same process and then fill in all of this desert with different type of building that I have imported. So after repeating the whole of the process and duplicating it, this is what I have. Feel free to add more building the way you wanna do it. And this is how you can create a travel logo animation using city blocks in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin. If you want this template, you can find the link in the description, but only members of my channel can access this and make use of this. You can just download it, replace the building if you want to, and then just replace the logo in the composition and make it yours. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks, subscribe to my membership, whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video. That is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.